Good morning. Welcome to another episode of This Is What I Do. It's a nice day up here in Mesalinka. September 10th or something like that, or 9th or something like that. These mountains are really nice over there, actually. Looking gorgeous over there. Yeah, very nice. I'd just rather be up there goat hunting, that's for sure. But I'm here doing a rotary manifold. I've never done one before. Pretty simple, at least pretty straightforward. Uses what was very difficult was that these uh, this fitting here was up on the top of this manifold, and this came loose before the hose did. So I had to hold it, and so as you can see, it's rounded off. That didn't help, and then because it was so tight, there's like 20, I don't know, 24,000 hours on this manifold, so. It, they were f hot, like they were sealed on there. I had to use heat to break it free, and it was that was a bit of a bitch. But see, so this thing here rotates. This takes the oil from the carrier down to the tracks, and the carrier and the tracks obviously rotate. So see, this piece here turns, and that so the oil comes down through here and then through there into the track. So it takes takes oil through a rotating component without you know. So it's kind of neat the way it's got these galleries that go through there and then they come out and then they go sideways. It's kind of neat. Anyway, so that that's the old one. It's leaking right here and it leaks into through the bearing and it pukes through the bearing and then so we've been running on a bearing that's been lubricated by hydraulic oil for the last few months rather than grease which hasn't been very good. Here's the new one. So I got a, I took this one out and I had to take all these fittings off, reseal them and put them on the new one. I got at it from under the machine to the belly pan here and you see I had to take these hoses off and get them out of the way for the boom cylinders and that's where it goes right there as a seal yeah it's not that big of a deal the hardest part was like I said getting uh, getting those initial hoses f to break free anyways kinda got a used car lot going on here except for my new truck there you go. There's another installment of This Is What I Do. Cheers.